Okay, guys, I got some VSL stuff I want to show you. Uh, the post tensioning company, but we're going to get there. Remember, I kept talking about they should have been grouted, etc. Well, we're going to see the plans where they actually state they're supposed to be bonded, which means grouted, grouted, bonded, grouted. Uh, and these are if you if you search the internet and uh, you'll find the bridge construction, you'll see that they're un un non grouted. They're unbonded. Um, and the plans call for bonding. So, yeah, here we are there with a... Uh, mm. So most people would say the grouting is just for protecting the cable from, from deterioration. But it also acts as a solid, so making that, that ductwork solid and integrating the entire structure together, the, the no longer having a void there, um, filling it in like a shim, if you will. And we already talked about shims, didn't we? Uh, Danny Pate did. Let me pause the video and find find the rest of this stuff for you. Give me a minute. So what's noteworthy, guys, and I have to give you an update. Remember I did not like the sequence of the uh, post-tensioning? Well, uh, VSL, here are the shop drawings now. These are the proof shop drawings. And the sequence was changed to some, some degree, uh, but not not 2 and 11. As you can see, location number 2 still fell under sequence number 1 and 2, meaning they post-tension these bars uh, first. And then here's number 11 to here. When did they do that? You scroll over and you see it was done 3 and 4. So it was done 1, 2, 3, and 4. The sequence of that didn't change. Um, I want to show you a couple other things that that is very 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 noteworthy, and that is the uh, the trumpets for these guys. They were they had an issue with sizing, and they needed to address Danny Pate with it to uh, tell him to, hey, look, are these measurements good enough? And let me grab that real quickly. I'll drop out of that one, and it's here, I believe. And let's open it. Let me scroll down real quickly. I want to show you two things here. Um, bear with me. I know it's small print. Hold on. Or maybe I should just pause it. I'll pause it. Give me. I'll pause it and jump right back in. Oops. Again, these are the shop drawings. So take note of this 100% theoretical elongation. Shown for the post tension rods, difference from the plan sheets, et cetera, et cetera. So um, it's all theoretical, guys. Remember, this structure has never been done before. This seems like it would be the right amount of uh, you know, theoretical elongation that would create this amount of force that, that would then give us this result. And this is literally what you're seeing here, uh, what you're looking at. And let's scroll down to where are you? Where are you? Right here, where they talk about um, bottom clearance needs to be two two foot zero inches minimum due to the stressing ramp size, and this is interesting that they had to change the sizing. And remember, I, we talked about that jackhammer thing that maybe they made a mistake with the sizing and you know the tooling and well, apparently something of that nature is going on right there. Now let me just, you guys can pause that to go back to it. Um, let's scroll to number 11 right here. This is the one that was being post-tensioned at the time of the failure. This one right here. And incidentally, when we look at the videos online with NTSB and they show that that curved one on the deck, this that is number 11. And I think a couple of times I might have said that the one is sitting up on top of the... Uh, on top of the, the pier is that we're literally looking at number 11. Yes, we're looking at number 11, but this one sitting on top of the pier, number 11, not not this one. This is the one they were working on. And look at the difference, 9 by 8. Um, and it's, it's very interesting because we go to number 2, and 2 is 1 foot 2 and a half inches, and 1 foot 1 and a quarter inches it gives you a lot more room to, to uh, tool this thing. Now let me just jump down here to the to the bondage section for you to show you that these are supposed to be bonded and not um, um, not non non bonded non grouted 
or grout it. So they were supposed to be grouted. Let me pause this and get it for you. Bear with me. Okay, well, noteworthy. I talked about when they had this thing set up on forms that the friction of being in the form work would change their numbers. Well, they, they have a lot of coefficient of angular friction here. They've got wobble friction. They, 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 they've got a few frictions they talk about, of course, creep and things like that. And that creep's usually referred to in the concrete, not in the steel, which I always find uh, very interesting in post-tensioning that they, uh, they don't have any, you know, they don't really, the creep is the concrete relaxing. They have another term for relaxing, but right here, post-tensioning system bonded. Long-term loss calculation, post-tensioning system, bonded. One more time for you guys. So there we are, and yet we see images of non-bonded right here. Non-bonded members, uh, the cabling, non-bonded. I find that quite telling. And for clarity, Transverse deck, transverse deck, post-tensioning system, bonded, one more time, bonded, March 20th, 2017. These are the approved shop plans. So again, I find that very, very, very interesting. Remember I kept screaming about that in my initial videos that they didn't bond this, bond the, uh, the ducks, which would literally you know, bond the entire system, especially in this thin system as we're looking at here. Um, of course, they try to run this post-tensioning down the center axis of the of the uh, thickness of the decking. That's where your shear resistance is, is theoretically um, going to be the weakest or the strongest shear point, and this would counteract that force theoretically. And I would love to know their real thinking on that. I could be wrong um, because, you know, the structure is such a wild card. But I don't, I don't think so, not at this time. And this is the backspan, not the uh, one we saw. But, again, that's the canopy, and it's bonded again. This whole thing was supposed to be bonded. I, I don't get where the uh, grouting is not, not done. Now, this is worth looking at. Again, this is the shop drawings. Um, this is the local zone reinforcement. They went from two inch, I believe it was two inch uh, pitch. Now they're at three, um, half inch rebar, um, diameter 13. I think they explored 14 and 13, or was it 12 and 13? 12, uh, 13 and 14. And this looks like the ultimate uh, where they wound up. And here's the, uh, right here is your, 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 your zones. I would love to find that difference in those two. Remember the uh, post-tensioning was different in the uh, two of them? I'm working on finding that. I might just terminate this, this video and load it for you guys and, and still work on that. And here we are right here. Main span canopy. Bonded. Post-tensioning system. Yes. Okay. Moving on. So just hitting, getting, showing you guys you should research bonded and non-bonded. Um, there, there's so many different things on it, but ultimately you're getting more surface area, uh, friction developed by the concrete, the grouting being inside the ductwork. And so even if your end caps were, your, your, your connections were to fail, you're still going to maintain some tension in that member, in the entire tendon. Um, whereas if you just go from end to end and your caps fail, your, your, uh, your wedges fail. The once it's loose, it's loose. Um, you get nothing out of it anymore. Whereas the concrete will still bond it to it. The grout bonded to it will still give you uh, reinforcement. Um, I also, as you guys know, and the, it it takes away that void. If it's a void here, it's now filled in. Now the structure can act um, um, as one piece, as opposed to deflecting. And being able to deflect inside that ductwork once the cable fails. So that's why I'm a bonded person, why I love the bonded as opposed to unbonded if you're going to do this system. All right, terminating. Uh, please enjoy this stuff. You know, search it, have fun with it. Thanks.